everyone, it's Rachel again, and today I want to show you how to color with an Andy Warhol inspired style using the Color Therapy app. Making an image look like pop art is pretty easy if you just stick to bright, bold colors and a limited color palette. I'll show you how to recreate this iconic Maryland image by Andy Warhol. You'll be able to apply these steps to other images as well. If you want to follow along with the image I'm using, go under the Classic tab, select People, and then scroll all the way down to Legend and you'll find the image down here. Okay, so let's get started by choosing the colors from the color palette. And I'm also gonna be looking from a reference so that I know where to place the colors. So open up the color palette, set it to solid, and then under the basic palette, select basic, and then we're gonna just choose a bright turquoise color, a, a regular yellow, and then a bright red and a black. And then let's also choose the color for her skin. So under the same palette, choose that pale orange color. And then lastly, we want to choose a bright green for her eyeshadow. So scroll over to Vibrant and choose that really nice bright green by the blue. And let's go ahead and begin by just tapping to fill in the image. So select that turquoise color and just we'll tap to fill in the background. And then select the yellow and then for her hair, we're just, we'll just begin to tap it in where all of her hair is. So just go over all those lines there. Another helpful tip is that you can just drag your finger or an apple pencil across the image and it'll just push in all the colors. So you don't actually have to tap to fill them anymore one by one. And now I'll just continue filling in the image with the colors based off of my reference. So next I'll use a skin color and just begin to add it into her face as well as the, the whites of her eyes and her teeth and her neck. And her lips are going to be that bright red color. So now all we need to do is basically just outline all of her features with black. So in the manual mode, open it up and I'm going to select the flat brush and then raise the opacity to 100% and the size to about 45%. Then I'll select black and then I'll zoom in to Marilyn's face and I'm just going to outline her face. So I'm going to start on the left side. I'm also looking at my reference to know where to put everything in. I'm just going to add a shadow along her face there. And this is also, I'm coloring outside of the lines. And there's a shadow under her neck on the left side and under her chin. Just following those lines. And then for her hair, I'll just also follow those larger lines there too, so that we can see those curls really well. And then you also want to add a little bit of texture inside the hair. So just with that same brush, just add a few um, curves going with the shape of the hair. And just remember with pop art, it's really big, bold strokes and bright colors. So we're really trying to make a statement. And then I also want to use the airbrush for more detailed lines. So just lower the size to about 15% and then add in some more detailed lines into the hair going with those same curves. And you want to be using a lot of pressure so that it shows up really boldly. And then you can also lower the size again to about um, between zero and five percent and then continue adding in those detail lines so we can see a few more actual strands of hair and i'm just using my reference again going back to that next let's add the eyeshadow select the green and then choose the marker tool let's keep opacity 100 and lower the size to 10 percent and I'm just going to color block her eyeshadow just above her eye, just in an arching curve shape. And I'll do it on the other side too. And then now let's select black and we'll keep those same settings. And now we're just going to outline all the black lines on her face so they show up when we remove the lines. So I'm basically just tracing all these lines. For the eyebrows make sure that they match the face so just color them in with that skin color and then with black again just go back and just start adding in strokes for her eyebrows just going in the shape and direction of her eyebrow and you want to use hatching for this stroke and to finish her off just continue adding in those black outlines around the main areas so to continue with that smudgy ink look um, you want to also add a shadow to the lips, so select um, coloring inside the lines mode and turn it to on and then with the black you just want to give some shadow in the corners of those lips. 
So it's like a black smudgy ink look. And make sure to also outline the teeth. Definitely don't forget her little dot on her cheek right here too. And then lastly, my other tip is to select the skin color again and then turn it to coloring inside the lines mode to on and just erase um, any extra stray black lines so that it becomes more of a clean look. And then when you're ready, go into the effects tab, select lines and remove them and there you go. I hope you find creating pop art as fun as I do. From here, you can experiment with other bold colors, but I'd keep it to no more than four or five. If you'd like to see more tutorials like this, don't forget to subscribe to the Color Therapy YouTube channel so you don't miss any new tutorial videos. Thanks for watching our tutorial. You can get the Color Therapy app for free on the App Store.